Hey everyone, how's it going? Today's video, very quick about how to get structured output out of your language model in Llama Index, okay? Now, the idea behind this is that usually when you have your language model and you query it, you're going to get just text from it, okay? Now, what happens if instead of getting text, you want to get something like a JSON file with very specific keys and value um, formats that you want from that JSON file, okay? your average language model is not going to be able to accurately get that just by prompting it, okay? So the idea that we have right here is that we're going to be initializing a schema using Pydantic, adding it to our language model using uh, Lama index, and this is the language model that we're going to query, and every time we're going to get a response with the schema that we have determined, okay? So let's take a look at how to do that. Okay, so the first thing to do, as I mentioned before, is to create the schema of the data that we want to get. In our case, we're going to be using Pydantic in order to uh, initialize our schema. In case you're not familiar with it, Pydantic is essentially just a library uh, for Python for, Py for data validation. And essentially what it allows you to do is to create classes, which are going to become the schemas of your data, and you're going to be able to validate your data using these schemas, okay? Uh, in this case, I'm going to be asking my language model to create an album. And an album is going to contain a name. The name is always going to be a string. An artist, which is always going to be a string. And a list of songs. And each song is also going to have its own schema. And it's going to have a title and a length in seconds, and the length in seconds is in integers, okay? Now, for the record, this example comes straight from the documentation of Lama Index, um, but let's actually take a look at this. So I'm going to execute this, and right here, I'm going to go from Lama Index core import a chat message, and here, as you can see, I had previously initialized my language model. Let me just show you before, because I was doing another tutorial before this one. Um, so here I have initialized my language model from OpenAI, okay? So in this case, I'm going to be using OpenAI for this. I am using GPT-40 Mini. And this language model is the same one that I'm using right here. However, this is not the instance that I'm going to be querying like that. I am actually going to, going to be running as structured LLM method on it, and I'm going to define this parameter right here, output CLS, as the uh, output schema that I want my language model to return on every single location, okay? And in this case, I am passing it the album schema that I created right here, which contains a reference to the song schema as well, okay? And this, I am going to be assigning it to a variable called SLLM for structured LLM. And now, anytime I am going to query this uh, language model right here, I am going to get the response in the exact schema that I specialized right here. So let's see, I'm going to initialize a chat model, um, sorry, a chat message from this string right here, generate an example album for the film, uh, for the film uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and let's see what it returns to us. I am going to call the SLLM using the chat method, and let's see. Now, here we have the response, and as you can see here, the chat message is from the assistant, and the content is not just a string of text. It is actually the object that I want to get. So uh, here you have the name of the album is Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the soundtrack, um, Roger Rabbit soundtrack, sorry, the artist is gonna be various artists, and then we have a list of songs, okay? So let's take a look at it under the microscope. And here I'm, for the record, using Pretty Print. I imported it up um, above in the dictionary, in the notebook, but essentially I'm using Pretty Print to print these objects more neatly. But as you can see, we have the artist right here, various artists, the name is Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and the songs, which are all of them, I mean, each one of them, an element, an instance of song, which each one has a title, 
and a length in seconds. So there you go. I mean, as you can see, this follows exactly the same um, the same schema that we defined above right here. So there you go. That is how to use on how to use structured outputs in language models using Lama index. Let me know if you have any questions, and let's continue with this course. Thank you.